Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial based off of one of my favorite palettes at the moment, which is the Modern Renaissance palette. Oh, guys, I am so obsessed with this palette. I am, uh, like, literally, like, I... Oh, it's just my favorite thing at the moment, and I like I wear makeup looks every single day with this palette. I swear. And then I had to like stop myself and be like, okay, like let's try something else for like today and everything like that, just because I love it so so much. But anyway, so if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more makeup tutorials and more fun videos that are coming soon. I'm pre-recording a ton so that I can just like put out like two videos like every week and like try to you know get that on a get you know get the ball rolling you know you know okay <laughs> so to subscribe all you have to do is just click on the button that's right down over here okay there's a little thing that says subscribe and it's over there there's also this little tiny bell that is the cutest little thing ever click on that bell then you can get a notification whenever I do a video you can always make sure that you're up to date and you know when I'm posting because you know why not and if you'd like to as well, you can follow me on social media. I am a social media nut. I love it so, so much. And I'm trying to get better at my Instagram. I know, I know. I'm really bad at posting pictures, like, a ton all the time in the week. Okay. <laughs> but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So if you want to learn how to get this look, then all you have to do is just keep on watching. And shazam. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is priming my eye with Max. Nubel paint pot. I almost said paint delay, but it's Nubel. Um, this paint pot is actually limited edition. I'm so sorry. They probably don't have it anymore, but any kind of base primer, whatever, is good for this look. I usually just apply this with my ring finger, uh, just very lightly onto my eye. Now I'm going to be taking a Morphe E30 brush, and this is like a really fluffy brush, and it's like one of my favorite ones for Morphe. And I'm going to be going in with this first color on the palette. It's called Tempera. Right? Tempera. I'm just going to lightly um, dip that into my brush and then tap off any of the excess. And then I'm just going to apply that all over my lid. Just all over the eye. It's just going to be our base for this look. You can either use that or you can use a translucent powder um, just for a base for your eyeshadow. It's always good to start off with like a base color, um, then it just helps the colors blend out a whole lot better. So, the color I'm going to go into are these two colors <laughs> right here. And the first one is called Raw Sienna, and then the other one's called Burnt Orange. These are like my two favorites. I just mix them in just to create a really nice trans uh, transition color. I blend both of these colors in with the brush that it actually came with. This fluffy end is like amazing. Alright, so I'm going to put that right into my crease very lightly. And you want to make sure you just lightly put it in. I'm not putting like I'm not trying to make this super dark for the transition color, I just want it to be nice and light. So always have a light hand when putting on your, on your colors. So next I'm taking another one of my favorite brushes and I can't believe I like, I just, I've had this brush for so long and I never appreciate it as much as I do now. And it's the Sonia Kashuk brush and I don't know if it has any numbers, I don't know if it has any names. They probably don't even sell it anymore because I literally got this in like 2011. So... Alright, so now I'm going to be going in with color right here. It's called Venetian Red. This is a very, very pretty, pretty red-ish pink magenta-y color. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to take that right at the end. I'm going to tap it off just a little, just in case if there's too much. And I'm going to be putting that right at the uh, um, outer corner of my eye. I'm kind of dabbing it on first, and then I'm going to blend it in. You really want to work this on the outer corner, but you want to bring it into the crease as well. Just a little bit. 
So next I'm going to go back in with that temper color, that very, very white color. And I'm just using a regular shadow brush and I'm going to put that right in my inner corner. Bringing that like halfway into the look. So it's going to kind of transition from the white to the pinkish reddish color. And then I'm just using a brush from like Estee Lauder, sorry, it's just like a no-name brush, like really. It's just a shadow brush. And now I'm going to take the color Vermeer. I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's the top one that is more of the um, pearl, pearly light, like, you know, the... So I'm just going to take a little bit of that and I'm going to also put that right on top. Just to give it a little bit of shine. Because right now this look is looking very, very matte. Next I'm going to be taking the color Love Letter, which is the like magenta e pink color. And actually I'm going to take a shadow brush first. This is um, one from Studio Tools. It's just a regular plain flat shadow brush. And I'm going to put that like right at the tip of it. And I'm going to put that right in the middle. So that it's a really nice, pretty transition color. From the white to the red there we go, you just kind of have to work the color into the look, you know okay, same thing on the other side so now I'm going to go back in with Vermeer that really like pretty pearl color and I'm just going to put that right on the corners again just because I kind of lost it a little when I was doing the pink you just kind of have to go back and forth honestly until you know it's perfect for you take a Morphe E22 brush and I'm gonna go back in with Venetian Red and I'm going to just go back in just a little bit and um, smoke it out a little bit more I'm like always never completely satisfied with my looks and I always have to just keep on going back and um, you know fixing them up a little bit you know okay so I'm gonna take a flat smudger brush and I'm gonna go back in with tempura again and I'm going to just put that on the top so I can have a brow bone color and I got some in my eyebrow great okay and now I'm gonna go back in with the mirror I'm just using like the same kind of colors over and over again and I'm going to put that in the corner of my eye with the same brush. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Highlight that inner corner. Now I'm going to be taking a e.l.f. brush. And then this is just one that I like to use for um, to smoke out underneath my lash line. And I'm going to be taking Antique Bronze. And then I'm also going to be taking the Venetian Red as well. I'm going to take the Antique Bronze first. And then put it underneath my eye. I really love the antique bronze just to help smoke out the look. Alright, and then I'm going to take a dab, just a little bit of the Venetian red. I'm going to put that right in the outer corner. Yeah, sorry guys. I'm like super scrubbing it out. I have on my Kitty Bun Port Main sweatshirt. Cause <laughs> I'm just like, I'm super scrubbing right now. I'm sorry. Sorry. I just, I didn't really feel like getting dressed today. And I really wanted to film. And I was like, mm, you know what? Sweatshirts are in. They're in, right? Yeah. Alright, so now I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner. My favorite. It's just in the color Black is Black. I'm going to take my Eco Tools, an oldie but a goodie, <laughs> my Eco Tools um, angled brush. Whoa, man, I love eyeliner so much. Like, look at the difference. Like, right now, eyeliner is done. I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes in the color, I think it's just 10 or is OL. I don't know, it's just the black one, the blackest black one. I'm going to use that for my waterline. Alright, so for mascara, what I've been loving to do lately is using this long comb. It's a um, curl, like it's an eyelash curl booster, 
and it's a mascara base. So you can put it on first and then um, you put your mascara on after and it helps to really lengthen the lashes. Ready, I'll do one and then you can see the difference. Also using Buxa Mascara. This is like my favorite one. It's in the blackest black. Woo! Alright. And of course, like with any other look that I do here on YouTube, I'm going to put on lashes. But I actually cut these so that they're a little bit shorter. Uh, just testing it out and seeing, <laughs> seeing how it goes. Alright, so I actually have these Ardell lashes, I'm pretty sure that they're the natural ones, but I could be wrong, but I actually cut them, and this is actually the inner corner piece um, that I'm holding up that you can't even hardly ever see, you know, just that. That thing right there. So that piece I just put right at the end of my lashes, and it looks so good. Like, it looks so natural, and I'm like, whoo. It just gives like a little flirt to the ends to it, so I'm just I'm gonna do that. I'm, that's what I'm gonna do. So it's gonna choose either one of these, and I don't know which one to choose from. So I think I'm gonna go with Candy K. No, Dolce. I'm gonna go with Dolce. I'm gonna I'm, I'm just gonna go with Dolce. All right, we'll see how this goes. All right, because this one's a little bit more brown, right? Or do I want the pinky one? Hmm. Yeah, just kidding. I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna go with Candy K. All right. Oh, P.S. Do you like this necklace? I made it. I made it myself. It's cute, right? I think I'm thinking about putting this up on my Etsy shop. So if um, you're interested, just let me know in the comments below, and um, you can put it up. It's like a cute little princessy pink. I'm, I'm gonna zoom in. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And if you have subscribed, then thank you so much. I am so close to 600 subscribers and I couldn't be more happier. I'm so excited to like get just that little bit more push to get to 600. So to subscribe, there'll be a little, um, there'll be a little me right over here. It's going to be a little face right there. It's on a circle. You can just click on that and you can subscribe. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!